Hey, good morning everybody. It's time for Monday Musings again. And I have something to show you that I've been working on all week. This is um, uh, ice. This is jewelry made with ice resin. And before we start talking, I'm going to mix up some more real quickly. It's important that you um, get the exact amount and I have these little medicine cups and I'm going to measure half a teaspoon because I only need a little bit of each one so by pouring this in till I reach the half teaspoon mark there we go and then pouring this until I reach the teaspoon mark then I know that I have an exact amount of each. Okay, the next thing to do then is to stir it, and I seem to have lost my little popsicle stick. Oh, goodness. Um, okay, I have some uh, chopsticks, and I will use that. I'm going to use the, the broad end here. I'm using my iPad as my camera so that we don't have that um, that annoying whine anymore and so I'm just getting used to it sometimes uh, you'll see uh, words backwards but that's it's a lot better video and there's no wine so what I'm doing is I'm stirring this and there's some cloudiness some striations and you have to stir this for two minutes that's why I decided to go ahead and make it before I started showing you what I wanted to show you because I have to stir this for a complete two minutes and then once I do that I'll pour it into the other medicine cup and stir again then it will be ready and uh, workable for 25 minutes this um, this kit I got for I think it was twelve dollars or something like that at Michael's and it included two popsicle sticks one which I threw away because I used it yesterday and another one um, that I can't find and it included two medicine cups and um, the two bottles and some instructions so um, this is my first time using ice resin. I was a little bit afraid of it, but uh, now I feel very confident using it, having done that once, and it's really not so bad. The only important thing is the exact measurements and also stirring for a complete two minutes. So I believe I'm coming up on that two minutes. I'm going to maybe go a little bit over it because I forgot to look up and check my time until a few until after I had started so I'm going to give this a little extra I'm going to give it a minute and I don't think that'll hurt and I think I'm stirring for three minutes and um, what this does is it gives a really nice clear hard dome over your jewelry And I want to show you a few of the pieces that I did. Let me get this out of the way. This is just a kind of a flat Seven Gypsies piece. And let's see. See the dome over it? See how nice that turned out? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pour this into the other up and I'm going to make sure that I scrape the, all of the sides and the bottom yeah this little paddle kind of works a little better than that popsicle stick I kind of like it <laughs> that's a nice flat edge for scraping okay then I don't know if you can use these over again or if you sh should throw them away, but I have a long, uh, st a tall stack of these, so I think I'll throw them away for a while. Okay, so then you just stir again a little bit. 
Now there are lots of bubbles in it. Let's see if I can show this. But it was my experience that those bubbles went away within about a minute or two. Or if they stayed on your project, all you had to do was blow on it. And they went away. Okay. So I think we have safely finished mixing the ice resin. So I'm going to set it over to the side for just a second. And share these with you. This is another Seven Gypsies flat and it's got a nice dome on it. Um, these two and this one, this is a medium mix size, it's a real nice dome on there, are uh, designs by Willow Wolf and I painted these and she's an oil painter and uh, you needed, with, with using regular oils on these, then you wouldn't have needed to uh, let it dry for a couple of weeks. So I use Genesis oil, which is uh, an oil that, that paint that you can, can dry immediately with a hot heat gun at 300 degrees. So that's what I used on these. So they were immediately dry, but they're still oil painted. And then um, I put the ice resin on. And then this one, I even put some Tim Holtz picked raspberry glitter around the edges. And that's uh, covered real nicely with the... Um, uh, ice resin. This one uh, is also a Willow Wolf design. The elephant, I was extremely pleased by the way this one turned out. It's so pretty. And um, I did it also with the Genesis oils and then did the ice resin dome on it, as you can see. I did these yesterday and they dried overnight and they're very, very hard. So what I did, um, I had some bubbles in the middle of this one think it was yeah so I just leaned over and blew on it and they seemed to just like fizzle away it was really pretty cool and then a couple of them in this one I just had one or two here and there so what I did then after blowing is I took a toothpick and just kind of poked them a little bit and then one other um, thing that I did for a couple that I couldn't get rid of uh, according to the directions is I took my heat gun and I put it straight over and while it was wet, you know, this would just kind of like, like a, you would with water, it would move. So I would just do this, like this. And um, it, as it got harder, it was a little easier to uh, do those, to hit the heat with those bubbles because it didn't really flow out so much. So, and I see that I'm a little bit, when I pu push this, when I put this um, up this way, I see that my dome is just a little bit higher right here than it is right here, but not bad for the first time. So then I had have this one, and this one is by Debbie Cole. This design is by Debbie Cole, and it's a stamp. Uh, it's a, um, Stampendous has a stamp like this, but I didn't have it, so I used my Tim Holtz stamp, the small one. And then I used... Um, uh, Deco art and Traditions acrylic paint to paint them. I uh, kind of watered them down and put washes over it. And then I didn't have the stamp that said follow your art, so I made one. I had a, a part of a stamp that said art, and then I just wrote, hand wrote it. And then when I, I poured the, um, so yeah, I'm a little bit uneven there too. I Just tiny, tiny bit, but it's okay. So I poured the resin in. Then I put this on, and I then I dip this uh, piece of watercolor paper sign into the resin, and then laid it on there. See, it's just laid there, and then um, before it was dry, I sprinkled some glamour dust in. So I don't, I think, yeah, you can see it just a little bit right there. And this is um, some reflections, um, rhinestones, and I just laid them around there and stuck them on. Okay, and this is also, um, I think, a medium mixage bezel. Okay, so I have these two others here that I'm going to get to in a minute. But after I did all of these, all of these were, were done with this same set. It was full. I still have lots and lots of resin left, even after we made our resin um, today. 
So this really, really goes far. I made, I did all of these yesterday with the with um, three tablespoons of resin when it was mixed up, and then I still have enough to make another teaspoon today. Plus, I think I've got enough for another tablespoon or two, two tablespoons in this set. So it's a little bit expensive, but you can get it with a coupon for 40% off. But I think that it's well worth it even without a coupon because it does, it goes far. So, okay, so let me tell you about these. These are seven gypsies as well, just different shapes. That's medium size. This is seven gypsies. And so I had a little bit of resin left over. And I didn't want to just, you know, throw it away. So I got these out and I cut an oval with the Tim Holtz oval die out of some um, papery paper, I think it was. I, I don't remember what paper it is, but it's a little bit pink and it has some text on it. And so I spread the resin around in it. And then I had a cameo, and I put some archival ink around this one to dirty it up a little bit. And then I just had a whole bunch of little things, some mica flakes, um, some keys, some hearts, just little stuff that I have around. Um, this I clipped the top off of it and set it in there. I used the rhinestones again and just made a collage. Now I'll put some beads on the bottom here. I'll show you some finished uh, works with those on there. And some ribbon on. Or some cording. Uh, yeah, here's some here's some velvet ribbon that I've got, and uh, I've got some cording as well. And I'll um, add to these, like you know, kind of like this, and um, have a, a necklace. Or I could take, I could cut off the edges here, and put a pin back on it and make a pin. So that's what I did with my little bit left over. It's just barely got the ice resin on there. Let's see. So yeah, and there's really no dome effect, but it makes a nice sealer. And all I did was set these things in, and they were and they're they're in there for good. Okay. So these two are also Debbie Cole designs. Pick them up. And so I put uh, some background paper in there. I cut it with a, a punch. And well, this one I had to, um, what I did was I pressed it into the watercolor paper to make um, an impression. And then I cut a pattern out of the watercolor paper. Now I've got this pattern for this piece. And then I, uh, I just drew around it and cut a piece, you know, the heart out. Because I don't have a die that is exactly this shape. So, um, I put some watch gears in it. Uh, what I did was, um, I, oh, I also cut the butterfly out. I stamped this with a stamp from Tim Holtz's Tiny Things. And then I uh, colored it with the same acrylic paint that I used on this one. You know, I had plenty, so I used it. And then I also stamped another butterfly on here because this had a, a larger area to cover. And so then what I did was I poured uh, ice resin halfway into there. And when it was almost set is when I stuck the, the little paper butterflies on. I don't know if you can really see that it's just kind of really stuck there. I can get my little fingernail just barely under it, the tip there. And I stuck, just kind of placed it in there so it would hold it. And this one too. So it's it's just sitting there. And I put all of my uh, other things in there, my watch gears, and I put little tiny uh, coin replicas in there. And I let it dry overnight. So that's why we just made some ice resin. And you see it's, it's still pretty bubbly, but let's see if I can show you. I blow, blew on it, and the bubbles kind of went out. Well... We'll just go ahead and pour it in here, and then we'll I'll show you. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my little stick, my paddle, and I'm just going to drip it in. You can also pour it if you like. And I'm going to 
spread it a little just to make sure that it gets everywhere. You know, I'm not sure I made enough. I may have to make a little more for the my other piece. Yeah, I think I might have to. So I'm pouring it in here. And then you want to pour it till it just almost overflows. And that's what gives you your dome. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and pour all of this on this one. And then I'll make a little bit more for that one. And it just kind of stays there. If you don't get too much there on it. There we go. And then this will harden overnight and have the little bit of dome on there. I'm just going to tilt this a little bit to even it up. Okay, I've got bubbles. I'm going to lean down and blow on it. And I think you can see that that moves a little. But it also, the bubbles just kind of disappear. I still have a few, but I'm going to let it sit for a minute and then I'm going to blow it some more. But it's already starting to, the bubbles are starting to disperse already. I'm going to go ahead and put a little, a little bit that I've got left in here. You know, I don't want to waste any pour it over into this and I'm going to go ahead and make another batch. You know, I wanted to make sure I didn't make more than I needed. So I'll go ahead and make another batch quickly and uh, finish the dome on this one as well. But I've decided that I really, really like working with ice resin. It's really nice to work with. So I'll go ahead and spread out what I've got there. And in the few minutes that it takes to make some more, uh, it won't matter at all. It won't make any difference to when I poured it in. Okay, so I'm going to set that one aside for now. And this one is still looking a little cloudy, but it's going, the bubbles are going to disperse and I'm going to blow on it. And if I need to, I'll hit it with the gun and it will be very, very clear. Okay, so let me show you what else I've been doing real quick. Here are some other necklaces and pins that I've been making. I've got, this is the Gilded Life collection. And they each come with, with a, a little dome so you can fill them up. And you can not use the, the dome and use ice resin as well. And I've got a, a ribbon for a necklace, but I've also got it pinned to my sachet. So there's a pin back so you can wear it as a necklace or a pin. And I have cut these sachets out of felt and then used uh, some floss to uh, sew them together. And I stuffed them with cotton balls and I put lavender essential oil from doTERRA on the inside. So this makes a nice gift. You've got a necklace, a pin, and a sachet for your drawer, all in one. Here's another. Done the same way. I'll take some pictures so you can see details. This is one where I used glossy accents in it because it was before I mixed up the ice resin. And this one. And you can see the, the beads hanging. Okay, so I made all of those. And I still have some felt left over. Oh, one more. That one. Whoops, upside down. <laughs> there we go. So I had some felt left over, so I just made some sachets without the jewelry. 
that I had these cameos sitting around. So I made my sachets, put a little bit of lace around it, and glued a cameo. So these are just, you know, a, just a sachet, but they're a little bit fancier. So this is just some things that I had at, in the house, and I didn't have to go out and buy, and they make nice gifts. And I used uh, lavender essential oil, I used geranium essential oil, and I used, you know, I think that was just it. On the white ones, I used lavender, and the colored felt, I used uh, geranium. I have uh, a whole lot more cut out. Hang on. I have some more cut out. Here's the, the floss that I used. Uh, it goes with the So Easy is where it came from. It's, uh, but you can also just buy the floss uh, at your fabric store. So I cut some more, some more out. Cut some in red and green. That's a, supposed to be a stocking, and these are bells. There. And I'm going to do the same thing, only I'm going to put uh, clove, orange, and peppermint, and cinnamon essential oils in in these instead. So uh, that's what I've been doing, and I hope that you have a good week, and uh, root for the Colts tonight and Monday Night Football, and I'll see you next time. Bye.